Hi there guys, welcome back to KRT Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to be focusing on liver shots and some stretching as requested by one of our viewers. We're going to flip to Wesley now, who's going to show us some more exercises and some stretches. Over to you Wesley. Alright then guys, first exercise I've got for you. So we're going to stand in a shoulder width, two, two shoulder widths apart. A kibidachi, as you, you may say. We're going to do sit down over there and we're just going to turn our knees to the inside. So what we're going to do right now is just warm up for the rotation we use within the kick. So we're going to do this like 30, 40, maybe 50 times just to warm up the muscles and just to turn them, to warm them up, to stretch them out. And as you maybe get warmer, you may go a little bit wider as well. Try it out for yourself, inside and outside. Enjoy. All right then, so the next thing we're gonna work on is to build up a little bit of momentum uh, where we really wanna focus and all of the muscles in there. So we're gonna, we're gonna stand over here in a lunge position, in a fighting stance, and on every count that you do, you turn your body and you go stand in a proper position, but you gotta stay focused and keep the balance. So you gotta work with your core. You're also stretching a lot, but also working on the balance as well. So there you go. One, and back. Two, and back. Three, and back, four, and go lower every time. You do this 10, 15 or 20 times on the right leg, 10, 15 or 20 times on the left leg. Um, and do this for two or maybe three times. Uh, and try to focus on the balance. Don't let yourself fall down. Us, enjoy. Okay, so th thanks there Wes for those warm up on the hips uh, and the nice rotations. So, what I'm gonna work on is a double punch, okay? I used to use this a lot um, when I'm fighting, even if you fight in Southpaw or Orthodox, what we're doing is the end result is gonna be to the liver in here. As Wesley says with the rotation on the hips, it's all about generating power here. So as we're rolling in, we want to really make sure we utilize this movement to create the power, especially for the second punch. You know, think of our body as a spring, we're coiling it up, compressing the spring, boom, expanding in position. So we're gonna be there, in, in. Southpaw, in, in, each time. Okay, keep working this each time. Okay, of course you can work the other side, it's not gonna to be to the liver, but it's still gonna be very effective because we're changing the heights. Chest, and then nice and low down, really take advantage of that. Snap it in nice and quick. All right then, uh, we're going to focus right now on the Chudan Mawashigiri. Um, and we're not gonna switch our legs and just go in with all of our, uh, with our body weight. But the thing is we're going to whip in the Chudan Mawashigiri. So it's, it's, it's gonna be a step to the side and a whip and a fast movement to the liver. So when you when you kick the opponent, you pull it back, and this is what what, what makes it uh, very very um, very painful for your opponent. The thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna switch my legs to the side of my opponent, and now I'm gonna whip in the kick, whip in the kick, and now I'm to the side of my opponent. and can go on. Us. So I'm gonna stand over here, switch, and there we go, back again. Switch and back again. I'm just gonna step out of the way, make sure to wash carry and be in control of the fight. Try do this 15 times on the left leg, 15 times on the right leg, and every time you switch over to the side of your opponent and whip in the kick. As Wesley just said about the cut and cross with the Chudan Moshi, I used to use this a, a, a hell of a lot cut across the body, maximize the power going into the person. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add to that position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit up nice and high to hopefully bend the body backwards this way. Hit the body nice and high, cut across, and then really cut nice and low. Remember, we want the Chudo washing not to be all the way up here. 
the arms here, keep nice and low, just above where the belt is gonna be, cut across that body, making sure that we really hit nice and low down on that liver, okay? So the same thing applies, we're gonna be here, one, cut across, really cut across the front of that body in position. So we're here, in, be in position, okay? Nice and low, let's not get too excited, start kicking up really high, here, just above the belt. Okay then guys, uh, another kick we can really use in a proper way from a short distance is an Oshiro Giri to the liver as well, which makes it very hurtful for your opponent as well. So what we're gonna do is we stand over here and we're gonna use the same steps we used in the in the last video. So keep the, 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 the upper body in the same position. Front, back, kick Oshiro Giri. So stand over here, one, two, and go back again. One more. One, two, back again. Us. So we stand over here. It's gonna be short range, five step, step. Stand, Ashiro Giri. And you stay in control this, 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 all of the time. So when you go in here, one, two, I'm still in control for if my opponent doesn't go down. So uh, we're on the Chudo Mawashi again, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drastically change the direction of the kick, and mainly that's gonna come with the pivot on the supporting foot, okay? So what's gonna happen is we're gonna, we're gonna bring this leg up so the person starts thinking straight away. We don't have to look up or nothing, we're just gonna bring the knee up quite high to make the person think that. Then from there, we're gonna cut through nice and quickly, similar to the way that Wesley said about whipping that through nice and sharp, we're gonna try and elevate this knee first and then change the direction in nice and quickly. Won't be as powerful as the previous versions, but what it's gonna do is it's gonna catch the person out. So we're coming up and then whip through at the last minute with the rotation here on this foot, okay? So we're in, up, up, rotate, up, rotate. Make sure we cut in again below that elbow, let's not hit up high on the arm. Okay, good luck guys. All right then guys, we're going to combine both the Ushiro Giri to the liver and follow it up with a Chudo Mawashi Giri. Uh, still the flicking, the, 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 the whipping uh, Chudo Mawashi Giri. So I'm gonna be in a short range over here. So I'm standing just in a short range, five step back, Ushiro Giri, skip, Chudo Mawashi Giri, same leg, uh, sorry. Uh, Right leg Uchiro Giri, left leg Chudam Wash. Skip Chudam Wash. And be in there. Skip one. And one more. Skip one, two. And I'm still in control. Us. Awesome.